What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Wayne Myers. And uh, I was asked to do a video on how I make my own beard oil. And so what I wanted to do is I want to go ahead and show you how I do that real quick. But I want to give a shout out to that king over there, Beard Samson. And uh, his queen, Shelly Badass. I use their system, the LCO method, where you use a leave-in conditioner, a cream, and an oil. Uh, so if you watch my videos before, you can see my gains, my growth, I hope. My bottom is really coming in real nice down here. The base of my beard is coming in real nice and thick. All I've been using was the LCO method until about yesterday, actually. My glass is fogging up. Probably so I'm in the bathroom. I just got out the shower. Still got these waves baking. So cut my hair today, going through my Saturday ritual. So I decided to uh, go ahead and share this video because I said I would. Let me check my glasses. They are fogging up. I can barely see anyway. So let's get into this real quick. Let me show you how I make my own beard. Let me show you what I use first real quick here is uh, the first thing I use. I'm still using the Carol's Daughter. I spray this on my beard. And this is what my beard usually. I already did my treatment this morning. So uh, after I cut my hair, I get jumped in the shower and did my beard treatment. The first thing I actually, the change that I made real quick here, before I put that Carol's daughter on, I start, <clears throat> I heard about this minoxidil. Somebody came on my Facebook page and said I should try this. And then I kind of did a little research on it because my beard is still patchy right here. And I also want to grow my beard line. I want to grow my beard line to like right up in here. I want it to kind of just really come around like right in here. And I'm going to show you because I'm going to show you how to apply my topics too. So you can see how I fill all, fill all this in once I'm actually ready to go and hit the town with my wife and we can kick it. So up here you can see this is really, it's thin. I pat it down, but the hair is thin. So what I started doing yesterday is I went and got this minoxidil from Walgreens. And so I've been putting it all up in here and here. So they say it's about a two month treatment, two month treatment. So I want to see how that works. And so I'll keep keep you guys posted in my videos about how this minoxidil is work, working, whether it's filling in these patches. And the reason why I started back in November really getting serious about my beard, November of last year. And I got inspired by uh, Beard Samson. And so I really started focusing on it. I didn't even have a beard at all. If you look on my Facebook page, you'll see my, my naked face without a beard. But so I started getting serious about it and started growing my beard in November and of last year. And the bottom is really getting really nice and thick. So where I'm having some problems... And where I'm applying this minoxidil, I'm probably applying it through all my beard. I also put some in my beard oil because uh, I just want to see what it's going to do for the next few months. So uh, right down in here, I want to thicken this up. OK, I'm going to show you when I apply the topics, I'm going to show you I'm applied in a way that how I want my beard to look. And I'm going to show you how to apply topics. From a barber's perspective, where to look natural, where your line is not so hard, okay? I'm going to show you how to feather that line out and make it nice and look nice and real, okay? Even though you go might go above the beard line. So like I said, I got that minoxidil. I'm going to see how that works, and I'll put that in my beard oil. So after I put my minoxidil on, I showed you the Carol's Daughter. I used that Carol's Daughter. That's a leave-in conditioner. That's an L. That's the L of Beard Samson, uh, of his... Uh, of his method. The C is a cream. And the cream that I chose to use, which Beard Samson used, this is his method, is the Hawaiian Silky. Now, if you've seen my beard, any of my videos before, you'll know that down in here I had some patches when I first started. They're filling in real good. My beard is getting nice and thick down here. It's growing in real well. Still a little patchy, but the hair is growing in so thick around that you don't really see the patchy. Or the patch, rather, the patches. So, but up here, like I said, it's still thin. And I want to really thicken my hair up here where it's really my natural hair. So that's why I started using that uh, minoxidil a couple, about a day ago. 
So all of this growth is just from the LCO method, nothing else, okay? Like I said, a day ago, I just added minoxidil to my treatment. And I do the minoxidil day and night. Now, Beer Samson says you should do this every day, twice a day. When you wake up in the morning, when you go to, uh, go to sleep at night. I've got a very busy schedule. By the time I get home at night, I just haven't been keeping it up at night. And I'm still seeing a lot of gains, right? Still seeing a lot of gains in my beard. So, I'm going to try to get on my A game. I'm about to finish some things, some, a project that I've been doing for the last three years. And so, I'm about to be done with that. So, uh, hopefully, I can start my treatment morning and night, uh, that LCO method. And then, the O is the oil. This is my very own beard oil right here, what I use. And it's a mixture of a lot of different stuff in here. And I'm about to go over and I'm going to show you everything I use. Most of the stuff you can get at Sally's or you can get at a, like a grocery store, a real uh, holistic grocery store that sells like now products. And I'll show them to you real quick. So the first, the base of my oil is, is um, Jamaican black castor oil. That's my base. And I use about two, I start about with about two ounces of this in my oil. So that's the majority of my oils that I use is that black castor oil. Now, I don't know if, you know, one ounce or two ounces is going to do it. You have to mix it to your liking, but it's just how I do it. I like the thickness of it. I like how long it lasts in my beard. Uh, I live out in Utah. And so the humidity, like you've heard me say in my video before, the humidity is really... Uh, dry out here. We almost have like a zero humidity out here. So this is this is helping with that. Then I also use uh, apricot oil. This is a now product. So wherever you can find now products, you can probably find this. I found this at GNC. I think GNC is going to stop selling it though they told me. And so I've been getting it from another market. But so I put about an ounce of this in there. <clears throat> My almond oil. It's a brand new bottle. As you can see, this one's been used because I've been using it up quite a bit. I just got this one. So I almond oil. I put that almond oil in there. I got some jojoba oil. Okay. Put that in there. Now, if you really want to go into detail, Shelly Badass has a video. This is her, this is her recipe with a few of my own personal tweaks. Okay. This is Shelly Badass's recipe. That's um Beard Samson's wife. I put a link in one of my videos to show you. She goes into detail of what these will do. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible, but it's going to be a teaching video too, so it's going to be a little longer. But that jojoba oil. I also found this at Walgreens. I put 100% that shea butter or that shea oil I put in there. Put some orange extract, all right? I put about three or four drops. I use an ounce of this. Put about maybe, maybe 10, 15 drops of that orange extract. I also use uh, lavender, that lavender. And that's good for night because it'll relax you. But even in the day, I still put it in there because it smells so good. Make your beard smell good. My wife loves this stuff. She's like, oh, my goodness, your beard smells so good. Also, that argan oil. All right. I use an ounce of this. And that's all my oils. And that makes up of this. But now you're going to see some white stuff at the bottom. Like, what's that white stuff in there, Wayne? That's, um, it's a shea detangler. And I got the bottle, but I don't feel like walking all the way in there and stopping the video. But it's a shea detangler. If you look for a shea detangler at Sally's, you'll find this. And I mix it in my oil. And every day, I shake it up. Before I go, do my beard treatment. And this is the last thing I put on my face. And this is the look I get. All right, so that's my oils. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to apply the topics. This is what I use. Now, I got some other stuff. I got some black ice. But I like the topics. 
um, because the Topics has this little nozzle on here that allows me to kind of direct where I want to go. So I'm just going to show you how I do it real quick. Don't really take really long for me to do this. So, uh, well, I'm leave my, let me leave my glasses on. So you just you know you just pump it in your, in your beer, and that's what I do. You'll see it come out. Hope I got enough in here. And as you can see, starting to fill them spots in, right? So you can see the spots over here, right? Where it's light, and you fill it in. All right, and I'm just gonna keep on filling it in. Now the dam will go above my beard line because I'm gonna show you how I want my beard to look. All right, where I'm putting, where I'm applying minoxidil because this is what I'm looking for. So, and you're gonna learn how to do this. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get at it. Okay. And I ain't really worried about right now making the lines too thick because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and this stuff gets in your nose, man. You start sneezing and shit. You, this stuff gets in your nose. Anyway, so also down here in my chin, I want my chin to be a little thicker too, right in this area. So I'm going to pump some in here. I don't mind my gray hair because I'm almost 50. In January, I'll be 50 this year. So, my wife just took me out last weekend. Got me a nice Chrysler 300 for, you know, she want me to be a distinguished gentleman. But she done bought me a Chrysler. I got her a Renegade. So, yeah. So, you see how it's starting to darken up? Now, you don't want to just put this in here. I'm going to show you how to really freak it and make it look real good okay so you'll notice i got a line up there now but i'm gonna show you how to really it's gonna be nice so maybe a little more up here kind of go up a little higher because i want to get that nice hard look up there okay my wife don't like it when i take it this high because ain't no hair up there she's like it looks fake but i'm gonna show you how to not make, to where it don't look fake how to do it so it doesn't look fake, brother. So now, you see that? That's filled in. Okay? So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna do the same thing. drastically different so I'm pretty much done with that all right maybe move it down here all right I'm not really worried about the lines and stuff that I made over because what I do is get a couple q-tips after I apply it I wet me some q-tips and I just go in here Everything I don't want, if you use a Q-tip, take it, just take it out. All right, whatever I don't want, just take it out. All right. I ain't really worried about it. This side comes down a little lower. I ain't really worried about that. But if you are, put a little more topics in there. And do it again. It's 
to how you like it. All right. Once your Q-tip get dirty, or two black where it's just putting stuff topics back on, change sides, and you can throw it away. Okay? See up here, you got a little, I ain't really worried about that because I'm going to fix that with the edger, with my razor. Yep, I'm about to show you how to hook it up with the razor. All right. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, one more thing. Hey, Beer Samson swears by these. I use these every single day. Twice a day. I eat four of them. Two in the morning, two at night. You know, I'm a big guy, so I got to use a little bit more. So, all right. So, you could, if you want to leave it like that, you could, you know. And then you can throw, when I'm done, I got me some oil sheen. Spray that oil sheen because this topics looks really dry after you. And you don't want to, you don't want part of your beard all dry and then down here all nice and oily. So, you can throw this on. But you got one more thing. So, let's do this real quick. So now, you see you got that hard line up there. That's not faded. You got the line up here on your beard, up here. So what you do is you take your brush, right? Now be careful because you don't want to take it all out. But you take your brush and you just blend it. Brush it to how you like it. And eventually it's going to look faded. Right? Because you're brushing it and you're blending it. Take it out here. I'm just using the tip of my brush. All right? I'm going to do another tutorial on how to cut your own hair. I'm a, I, uh, I was a barber for a while. But anyway. So I just take the tip of my brush. Brush that line down. Like so. All right? It's kind of faded in. A little bit like that. All right? So I'm done with that side. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to blend it in. All right? Just a tip. Just a few bristles. Don't go in all the way because you're going to brush all your topics out. So just a tip. Just, I don't know if you can see just a tip going in like that. Just a tip. And you're going to see how I'm getting more topics up there. But wait till I, when I get this razor on it, it's going to be the shit. Watch, watch this, watch this. So, all right, like that. Then you're gonna break, even break it up in my chin. I, I even break it up, and now you see I get all that black shit all over my, all over the sink too. My wife, she be mad. So, come down in here, little tips, just breaking it up, so the line don't look so hard. You feel me? You don't want to brush it all out, but you don't want the line so hard. Just go in there with it, like that, right? Okay, see how it look more natural? Then, you get this. This shit burn, burn. Especially if you just did your, did your face or something like this. But this is what sets the topics, okay? So once you put this in, it sets it. And it burn, but it doesn't add sheen. So, But it just seals the topics in. So, you know, when you're out, if you're sweating or whatever, you know, you don't have to worry about all your topics coming out your beard. Now, you want to let that dry. But before you let it dry, what you want to do is, while it's still nice and right, okay, you want to get you a straight razor. I got this off of Amazon. Nice straight razor. All right, and now you want to go and you just want to Touch that bad boy up. Hold on, let me clean my daggone glasses. I got all that alcohol, all that topic spray in it. All right. So now you want to go in and you want to take, you see all that black stuff up there? It's up there. Watch this. Watch this. It's going to freak you out how nice this look and how natural it look. Watch. Just take my razor.
Hey, like that. See me, I like the details. Now, I know you're thinking, hey, that just put the line back. But watch what happens. So now you can see the hard line, right? Because you just razored it. Let me go and do this other side for a dry real quick. Now, it's going to take you a minute to get some skills with this razor, okay? You don't want to do it too hard. This straight razor, you cut, you cut yourself, you're going to bleed, trust me. So, <clears throat> be careful with it. Real careful. I recommend, if you decide to use a straight razor, what I recommend you do is get you a balloon, put some shave, blow that balloon up, put some shaving cream on it. Okay, take your razor. When you can shave that balloon without popping it, you ready to put, your, put a razor on your face because you'll understand the, the pressure you need to put on. Because if you pop the balloon, you're going to cut yourself. So that's just my little tip. Oh, starting to dry. So we want to get in. All right. Get a little bit lower. To your liking. Now I did it above my line because I'm trying to grow my hair but I'm giving you this tutorial so you can see how to do it. So, yeah. So now you still got, you got that line back, right? Once you get finished with that. All right, keep your razor clean too. Let me show you how. Because if you don't, you want to keep your razor clean. So I just get a little piece of toilet paper and I just take the razor, just brush it off this way. Why do I do it that way? So you don't cut yourself. You feel me? Let me go in there, go and try to take the razor and go, Shh, yeah, you don't do that. You just want to take this side of it, brush it back, clean your razor that way. Then do the other side of it the same way. The other side, you want to do it like that so you don't cut yourself. All right, so now back to this line. So now I got that line back, right? But it's looking pretty tight because it's pretty, pretty straight. So now you want to take even less of the bristles because you don't want to keep put, putting stuff back on. But you might have to, and then you might have to use a razor again. But so you just take it and break it up. Gently, because you don't want to brush your topics out, okay? Just gently breaking it up. That's all I'm doing, breaking it up. So it looks more natural. It don't look so hard, so profound. However, now because I'm above the hairline, you're still going to see it pretty much. But far away, you ain't going to really know. But if you got up close to me and really look, you, you could probably tell. But if you're in the club at night, nobody really looking at you like that. And so you just on the line. You're not in your beard, okay? You on the line. You're breaking that line up. All right. You're breaking it up. After you do that, now your beard is dry. You got all that. And y'all know, I, I, you might see that I cut a little bit of this off down the bottom. So you're, oh, you want to do the inside too. Inside. Inside. And I'm just using the edge of the razor. Just the edge. Watch when I go ahead and take that topics off. 
You just gonna see the edge, just the edge, see? The the tip. You know the tip. Really gently. You know? Yep. All right. And then you go and break that up. All right. Again, don't get in your beard. All right. Don't get in your beard. Just the line. All right. You done with that? You get your sheen, your oil sheen, and you want to spray the whole beard. After you spray your beard, take and take that same little piece of toilet paper. Get the excess oil off at the top. All right. And that's it. You patch your, patch your little piece down another. We're going to keep it under 30 minutes. Shit, then you ready. Right? Just transforming the Rick Ross on there behind. Yeah, got that Rick Ross look on that beard. And you good. Hey, post your comments. Hit the like button, subscribe. I'm going to be throwing some more videos up here. One day I'm going to make a video. I'm going to unleash these waves on you. They baking right now, and I'm going to show you how to cut your own hair. So check it out.